After several days of delays, the United Nations Security Council has voted on a resolution to allow aid into Gaza. The vote comes as the food and water crisis in the country becomes more dire and amid growing anxiety about the health of hostages still held by Hamas. NBC's Alice Barr is live in Washington with the latest. Amid fierce fighting in Gaza and following days of intense negotiations and delays, the United Nations Security Council today finally approved a resolution calling for stepped-up aid deliveries to ease the desperate humanitarian crisis in Gaza, while also demanding that Hamas immediately release all Israeli hostages. We must work together to alleviate this tremendous suffering once and for all. The U.S. abstained to allow the vote to pass after vetoing more strongly worded versions that pressed for a ceasefire, which Israel says would only benefit Hamas. Pressure is building to surge aid into Gaza as a new U.N.-backed report says 93 percent of the population is facing crisis levels of hunger, nearing famine. This young Gazan girl told an NBC News team about her daily struggles to find food. Hamas says there will be no further negotiations until Israel agrees to end the war, reportedly rejecting Israel's offer of a week-long humanitarian pause to bring aid in and get hostages out. We will leave no stone left unturned in an effort to get the hostages out, whether that's through our military operation or through a, another pause. That amid the devastating news that an American Israeli hostage died in Hamas captivity. The family of 73-year-old God Haggai saying the father of four and grandfather of seven will be remembered as a gifted man. His wife is still being held by Hamas. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.